I'm going to show you the basic functions of Google Drawings so that you can create easy, fun images without needing fancy editing software. First, you can access Google Drawings by going directly to drawings.google.com or by creating a new drawing directly from your Google Drive account. In Google Drive, click the New button, then More, and choose Google Drawings. Now you have a brand new drawing template that will automatically save to your Google Drive. Your Google Drawing will open with a transparent background. You can change this by right-clicking on the board and choosing Background. You can choose either a solid color or a gradient for your background. You can even choose a custom color if you don't like the options available. Now let's look at the options in your toolbar. Here you will find four tools for adding to your drawing, line, shape, text box, and images. Let's start with lines. There are several different line types to choose from. Choose the line you would like to use, then use your mouse to draw the line on your background. Next, let's look at shapes. Choose the shape you would like to use and add it to your drawing. To change the color of your lines and shapes, just click on the element and more options will appear in your toolbar. You can change the fill color and the border color. You can also change the weight and dash of your border. If you would like to add text to your drawing, choose the text box option from the toolbar. Then draw your text box wherever you would like it to be. Type your text into the box. You can change the appearance of your text box by using the options in the toolbar. If you want to add an image to your drawing, choose Insert Image from the toolbar. Then choose how you would like to locate your image. You can upload an image from your computer, your Google Drive, or even take one with your device's camera. If you would like to search Google for an image, choose Search the Web. Use the search bar to find the image you want, then click Insert. Use your mouse to adjust the size and location of the image. To arrange the order of your drawing's elements, go to the menu and click Arrange. You can move the elements backwards and forwards within your drawing. If you would like more editing options for any of your elements, click the element and choose Format Options. Within these options, you can adjust the size and rotation of your element, its position on the page, and even its color and transparency. There are many more things you can do with Google Drawings, such as adding tables, charts, diagrams, and word art. We won't cover those in this video, but they are all available under the Insert menu. Now that you've created your drawing, don't forget to give it a name so that you can easily find it later. And that's it. Now you know the basics of using Google Drawings. Thanks for watching.